limits part 1 hi everyone for this session we will discuss new chapter limits see here simply limits means approachment see here simply limit means approachment means so for example let f of x is equal to x plus 1 so this is any function now see here this is x value and this is f of x values first if x is equal to 1 then what is f of x value 1 plus 1 For example, if x is equal to 1.11, then what is f of x value? So clear that is 1.11 plus 1, we we'll get 2.11. For example, x is 1.134, then what is f of x value? So clear that is 2.1134. For example, x is equal to 1.20. Then what is f of x value? So clear that is 2.20. For example, x is 0.99. Then what is f of x value? That is 1.99. For example, x is 0.98. What is f of x value? 1.98. So see here. If x is equal to 1, then f of x value is 2. So once you observe here, the x values are approaches to 1. See here, x value is 0.98, x value is 0.99, it will approaches to 1. x values are approaches to 1. Then, what is f of x value? It approaches to 2. So clearly, this is left side approaching. And see here, if x is equal to 1.20, so what is f of x value? 2.20. If x is equal to 1.1134, 2.1134 is the f of x value. If x is 1.11 and f of x is 2.11. So clearly, these x values are approaches to 1 from right side. And f of x values also approaches to 2 from the left side. So clearly from this we can say that if x is approaches to 1 then what is f of x value? It approaches to 2 from left side. From left side. We are also from left side. So clearly mathematically it represented as x is approaches. This means approaches are tends to 1. Then what is f of x value? It approaches to 2 or tends to 2. Then f of x is approaches to 2. So clearly these values are approaches from left to side. So in that case we have to write 1 minus. So because of it approaches from left to side. So this is called as left hand limit. That means LHL. This is what left hand limit. See here. See here similarly if x approaches to 1 from right side then f of x value also approaches to 2 from right side. So mathematically it is defined as x is tends to 1 plus. So because of it approaches from right side. Then what is f of x value? It approaches to 2. Then this is called as right hand limit. 
This is what a right angle bit. That means RH. See here, if both LHL and RHL are equal and it is exist, then limit is exist. See here, if LHL means left hand limit is equal to right hand limit, then limit is exist. If both are not equal, left hand limit and right hand limit are not equal, then limit is does not exist. So this is the general concept of limit. So see here, in previous example, f of x is equal to x plus 1. If x tends to 1 minus, then f of x tends to and x tends to 1 plus f of x tends to what? Two. This is left hand limit and this is right hand limit. So this is also can be written as limit. What is x value? x tends to 1 minus f of x. So what is this value? Two. This right hand limit. Limit x tends to 1 plus f of x value also. So clearly both left hand limit and right hand limit is exist and is equal to 2. Therefore limit is exist. See here limit x tends to 1 minus f of x is equal to limit x tends to 1 plus f of x. This value is what? 2. Therefore limit is exist. Therefore, limit is exist. Simply, this can be written as limit x tends to 1 and f of x value is what? So, this is the mathematical definition of the limit. So, see here in previous example, once we consider the previous example, f of x is equal to what? x plus 1. See here, this is x value and this is what? f of x value. So, at x is equal to 1, f of x value is 2. At x is equal to 1.11, at f of x value 2.11, x is equal to 1.1132. So, what is f of x value? 2.1132. Next, here, at x is equal to 0 0.99. What is f of x value? 1.99. At x is equal to 0 0.98. What is f of x value? 1.98. Okay. So see here, x values are approaches to 1. Then f of x values are approaches to 2. So clearly this is left hand side approaches. And this one, if x is approaches to 1, from right side, then f of x is approaches to 2 from right side. Okay. Now, see here, x tends to 1, f of x tends to what? Two. 1 minus means from left side. Similarly, x tends to 1 plus, what is f of x value? Tends to 2. See here, Difference between x value and 1 means see here x tends to what? 1. But x is not equals to 1. See here difference between 0 0.99 and 1. See here modulus of 0 0.99 and 1. Next modulus of 0 0.98 minus 1. So clearly this is what? 0 0.01. Next, this is what? 0 0.02. So, clearly these are the smaller values. Very small values. So, see here, these are very small values. This can be treated as delta. So, here also difference between 1.11 and 1. See here, 1.11 minus 1. 
will get 0 0.11 next 1.1132 minus so this is also very small value that all values are treated as delta your delta is what positive and it is very small value then what is f of x value see here hence 2 2 means difference between f of x and 2 is what very small value see here 2 minus 1.99 will get 0 0.01 ok next similarly 2 minus 1.98 so this is also 0 0.02 see here these smaller values can be treated as epsilon so this epsilon also greater than 0 See here from this we can say that the difference between x and 1 see a difference between x and 1 x and 1 is very small value that is what greater than 0 so clearly this is also can be written as difference between x and 1 is less than delta then what is f of x value difference between f of x and 2 this is less than epsilon. Okay. If difference between x minus 1 means modulus of x minus 1 is less than delta, then f of x minus 2 is what? Less than epsilon. Okay. So this is also called as a limit. Okay. Simply this can be written as limit x tends to 1 in f of x is equal to what this is the definition of the limit so here definition of limit given epsilon is greater than g so there exist delta is what greater than g such that f of x minus l is less than epsilon whenever modulus of x minus a is less than delta from this you can say that the difference between f of x and the l is very small value that is less than epsilon and difference between x and a so this is also very smaller value that can be treated as delta. So this is defined as if x is tends to a, then what is f of x tends to l. Simply this can be written as limit x tends to a, f of x is equal to what? L. So this is the definition of the limit okay. so next properties of limits so next properties of limits see here let limit x tends to a f of x is equal to l and limit x tends to a g of x is equal to u so these are any two limit values one is l and another one is u see our first one then limit x tends to a f of x plus g of x sum of the two functions or difference of the two functions so in that case we have to apply limit for each function that is limit x tends to a of of x plus r minus limit x tends to a g of x so clearly what is this value l plus r minus what is this value okay. this is the first property and second property limit x tends to a f of x into g of x product of two functions 
in that case we have to apply limit for each function that is what limit extends to a f of x into limit extends to a g of x see here you know that this value is l and this value is u so here this is equals to what l into u the third property limit extends to a f of x by g of x division of two functions so here also apply limit for numerator and denominator that is limit extends to a f of x divided by limit extends to a g of x so clearly limit extends to a f of x value is here and the limit extends to a g of x is what yeah so this is equals to l by y so these are the three properties of limits see our next concept sandwich theory so this is the important thing okay so based on this we have two marks problems see a sandwich theorem means let f comma g comma x or any three functions from e to r or any three functions such that c r f of x is less than or equal to g of x is less than or equal to h of x here f of x is what less than or equal to g of x it is less than or equal to h of x if limit extends to a f of x this value z equals to limit extends to a h of x value z equals to f see here limit of f of x value and limit of h of x value is equal and it is equals to n then limit extends to a g of x value also equals to n so both left hand side function and right hand side function of the limit values are equal then the limit value of the middle function also equals to n so this is known as a sandwich theorem our next session we will discuss more problems